Hello, this is the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date, February the 21st, 2019, and we had a very good day when the market was red today. So I'm going to hand this right over to Miss Vegas, and she's going to give you our watch list. Yeah. And something so else to talk about. Yeah, so good uh, <laughs> evening, afternoon for everybody. Um, you know, we haven't been uh, had a chance to do a YouTube, so we're just really happy to be back. And I've had a lot of excitement, and I just want to share with all the viewers um, our website. So we actually launched our new channel on Discord, but we also launched our website, ilovestocks.com. And, you know, I really seriously take feedback from all you guys per, uh, directly. Uh, people message me or people email me, and even they message Jim, and him and I collaborate. And one of the feedback we got when we were mentioning, you know, come by at the chat room, come and check us out, come check the free trial, is that people were getting really confused with how to download Discord and they were feeling like frustrated. So when we made the website, which Jim is showing you, uh, there's a feature at the top right called chat room service. So if you click on that, uh, it'll bring you to the chat room page. And then if you scroll down, I actually outlined uh, step by step how to first of all download discord only if you don't have it downloaded already so if you don't have it downloaded you just click uh there's a link right there you click it it downloads for you and then it tells you how to join the discord server you just actually right from this page you just click on the join server button right below brings you right into our website into our server and then you click on free trial and when you join the free trial um, and the reason you have to download the Discord, in case you don't have it, is because you have to register your Discord username and email. So no payment information is collected at all. Um, it's just to get you into the server and give you the uh, complimentary trial. So I hope that this new page will be helpful for you guys to be able to sign up. And I'd love to hear feedback and um, would love to see you in our chat room. So come on down and don't feel shy. We're here to help everybody. On to today's list. I'm going to talk to you guys about ZSAN. We're also going to talk about KNDI, which Jim loves calling candy. We're going to talk about Blink, BLNK. We're going to talk a little bit about Cron because there's some little activity there on the chart. And then I'm going to give you guys a bonus play. I'm actually going to give you guys, you know what, I might give you guys two bonus ones at the end. So let's first start with ZSAN. So ZSAN actually um, had some news and this is the company called Zosano Pharma Corporation and they did just announce that they completed the final milestone in the long-term safety study of which is the acute migraine disease. So this was good news. And uh, obviously this sent the stock through the roof. And, you know, I saw it this morning when I saw, I saw this news and I thought, well, let me take a look at the volume. Let me look at the chart. And, you know, this, first of all, this has to still be approved by the FDA. So if it does get approved by the FDA, this particular drug um, would be the first marketed product using the intracutaneous delivery. Okay, so this is quite uh, important. Um, and the, the research showed that from 5,800 migraines treated, 832 had an adverse event, 298 reported a reaction, but 161 were um, uh, apparently some adverse uh, events, but observations were good. And so now they're going to be able to go take this forward. So um, this was good news in the market. We did call this today. Now, I saw this in the morning pre-market. And, you know, I don't really like to trade pre-market because I just find sometimes that by the time the market opens, the sell-off has happened and then I get stuck in a trade. That's just from, been from my experience. So I thought, you know what, let me wait till the open and uh, let me just see here. Uh, what the market's going to show me. And I alerted the stock at $2.83. And that was kind of like where I liked the entry based on the volume and based on what I saw the technicals lining up on the chart. And 
when I was looking at the chart, I actually, you know, could see that there probably wouldn't be some resistance as we started moving. But I wasn't able to really see how much, you know, how much volume was going to come in to really, for, you know, proceed to forecast that this could go over $5. And so I was trying to give uh, levels of support and resistance live on boys throughout the day with Jim's help just to help guide this trade. And oh my gosh, some people made like two to 300% on this. So congratulations to them. And if you didn't make that much, it doesn't matter. You still traded a good setup. So turn it over to you, Jim, on ZSAN. And she was a sweet trade today. I'll tell you what, we called this right out of the gate this morning, Miss Vegas in the room. And she had a nice little bounce pre-market. Then she pulled back a little bit to support area. Then right out of the gate, she bounced, pulled back and hit that 50 SMA and just rolled, the, rolled it all the way up to the top here to five bucks. And we had a target up here around five, five. Th well, we didn't really have a target at five. I mean, we just kept riding it up, riding it up. And then we had that little pullback right here. I called the pullback right here around 419, 420. And then she went ahead and took off and hit that $5 area. And then we had a little pullback again for another re-entry right here at the 454 area when she touched that 100 SMA. And this was just, the volume was there, the rotation was there, it was a low float stock. And I mean, it just the thing just took off all day long. And then when it, we had like, uh, I called a pennant flag breakout right here. Let me see if I can, should probably have a little bit picture, but there was a little flag breakout right here. And when I called it right within seconds, that thing started bouncing up and it ran all the way up to six dollars and fifty seven cents created a double top didn't want to break that 57 and then she pulled on back here and we had a couple dead cat bounces that i got involved in and again right before close i was calling this out at 532 and the thing dipped on down to about 520 something 519 somewhere in that area and then she went ahead and almost went back up to that resistance level again at six something so here after hours she had a knife she pulled back some but she trended up she created a little channel here a rectangle channel and we're sitting right here you know this could be overextended but also we did like the news and a lot of no and the news is what brought this stock up and i'm going to pull up a year's chart and show you where this thing was a year ago about the same time we had a huge bounce on it too, and it ran all the way up to 25.70. Created a little resistance right here around 22 bucks. So I don't know, we're gonna keep this on watch for tomorrow. It's too bad this happened later in the week because this could have been an all week play for sure. But we're gonna see how, to, how it reacts tomorrow. I think we we'll probably get a little bitty pullback and we, we'll register and hit that day high that we had today is what I'm thinking. Now let me pull this up one more time. So what we want to do, we're going to call support right around here, around 530. If it pulls back, it's about a 50 cent drop. That's where I think if it pulled back any at all, that's where it's going to go. And then we're going to try to retrace and break the 665 resistance. We're literally, I have a 657 double top. So let's see what ZZAN does tomorrow. It was great. I every once in a while get headaches. I have here lately, but. You know, usually I have a pretty clear head when it comes to that, but I love the idea and that the news was great, actually. So the next one we're going to talk about is another runner that we played yesterday and today. And Vegas, you want to mention anything about taking candy from a baby? <laughs> well, a baby would definitely not be able to drive a car. But you know what, <laughs> KNDI, Candy Technologies, you know, they announced actually yesterday, and this is why it moved yesterday too, is that they announced that their Model EX3 and K22 have been approved by the National Highway Traffic Safety Act to be imported and registered in the U.S. And these are going to be two electric vehicles that conform to the highway traffic uh, standards and are registered in the United States. And this will be a joint venture to launch the two models, the EX3 and the K22 for the American market. Now, I actually don't know what these are gonna go for price-wise, but let me tell you, Jim was all over that candy, just like a baby. So yep. Jim, over to you on that chart. I sure was. And, and 
What I liked about it yesterday is I flipped this thing and I called this little support channel at the end of the day and it just beautiful trade. Right out of the gate, we called it down here right around six bucks pre-market and I didn't get into the trade until it, it jumped at open and I was able to get in it, scalp it, run it up to this resistance level, ran on up more, pulled right back to that support level it created that support and then she ran up and she had a day high up here right around and you see how i played the heck out of it yesterday and i used almost the same trend lines yesterday as i did today and added a few more so we had a double top she kind of said i'm going to come back and pull back and then right into close i called this little i said it was probably right about in this area it's about eight bucks and i told the room if this got down here to the 774 to 7 81 area that I was going to get back in it and I scalped this probably about five minutes before the market closed and it was just a wonderful trade I got out two minutes right before it closed and then it bounced on up and hit that eight dollars again I, I should you know two minutes right after I got out of it it bounced up higher but I did scalp it at that point and the 50 days started moving on down over the 100 here but it kept on rising so I noticed that in the market today we opened up right here and she pulled back and run into that 50 SMA and then she went ahead and made new highs. So that was quite impressive with candy. And then she pulled back and I played a couple dead cat bounces. It pulled back to that 100, ran back up to that 874. It didn't seem like it was overextended at all with the volume that came in. And then she pulled back and hit that 200 SMA. I called this trade out. And then here at close, we're back up at the highs again at 885. So there could be some volatility when you wake up in the morning on this. I'm going to put it on a daily one minute chart and I'm going to see if it can pull back to the 200 SMA. I love playing the 200, the 100, and the 50 when it comes to breakout stocks because you know, it takes, they're more relaxed. So let's see if, well, if we can take it on the one minute daily to the 200. And if we can get a golden cross, but right now, the 50 days respecting that 200, so it's still kind of bullish. And when it's above it, even when it's below it, if I can get it to start to rise above it and get that golden cross, that, that's one heck of a play. So this is candy. Let's see if it can pull back to the 200 SMA in the morning. Keep it on watch. And the whole sector has been running pretty good. We had solo run on us. We had uh, FUV run on us. These small cars, we had Nile the other day run up on us. So I think we're in, being in the now is what made knowing that candy was going to be a good trade too. So we'll move on to the one that's going to keep these cars going, and that's going to be Blink. So don't blink. That's right, and don't blink on Blink because, you know, we spotted a beautiful today on Blink. And, you know, Blink was running really maybe on sympathy to candy today. Um, it did move also yesterday, but even today we did spot a breakout. And I did mention it even on social media, on stock tweets. You know, watch this going, watch it over 371. And I posted the chart. And uh, that was a beautiful move. It went over $4. Um, but, you know, Blink, you know, just to let you guys know, I mean, if anyone has an electric vehicle, you know, they have the charge, you know, they make the charging stations. And if you actually go to the Blink website and you have an electric vehicle, I mean, you can get a Blink account. It's free. They have no annual fees. You get the Blink app on your phone. So if you need to find a charging station, you can find it. Uh, when you sign up for a Blink to be a Blink member, um, they charge your card. They don't charge your card. They just authorize your card a uh, one to five dollar fee. It just validate the credit card, but they don't actually charge your card. It's not charged until you actually use a Blink charging station. And you, you don't even have to sign up for a Blink account. You can just go to a Blink charging station and then just pay for the, um, I guess, to uh, recharge your vehicle. So that's really cool. They have like 4,000 charging stations. So we did spot the breakout and uh, it probably, you know, was a continuation from yesterday to keep on a watch from Candy. Um, and Jim, you know, maybe we should still keep this one on a watch because it had a beautiful move today and then obviously pulled back. but. Nevertheless, want to still keep on a watch. Oh, yeah. I'm showing them the map right now of all the charging stations yeah. they have. 
I mean, it's it's pretty well all in the major major big cities. They have them in. They even have one. They have one in Missouri. Can you imagine that? So that's pretty cool. It's in Columbia, Missouri. They have one. <laughs> that's the only one that has one. All the rest of them. Are pretty, <laughs> Jim's gonna go check it out. I'm gonna drive up there today. <laughs> So this is Blink. This is one that's had a real nice run. I'm going to pull up the chart here. Look at this. Weekly chart, five day from 214 all the way to 425. We did hit a little resistance today. It seems like every day produced a new high. Kind of consolidated on uh, Tuesday there. Here's Wednesday, how it bounced up and hit that. And then Thursday, we did the same thing. We, we pulled back a little bit. But yet it took off here midday. I mean, right pretty much in the beginning of the day, the volume started coming out. You can see the volume looked pretty good. So we did have a pullback at the end of the day on Blink. And then to this level right here, right around 350, I'm going to put a little trend line in there because that could be a pretty good little support area for tomorrow. I'd like to see this 50-day cross up over. We're going to pull it up to a daily now. But look at this run from 214. 100% gain to 425. That's beautiful. Actually, yeah, 425 where my little resistance line is here. I'm going to pull up a year's chart just to look at it. This thing was up here at 865 that third month last year down in March. We had a big, huge run on it. And then she's pulled back and she's had a couple little breakouts. Then we're here last month in December had the huge sell off. Everything sold off. Everything sold off. And then here in the last five days, we had a pretty good little run on it, a real good run on it to the resistance level. And it can go higher. We could take this up to 441 maybe tomorrow if she wants to go ahead and continue the ride. It is Friday though. You never can tell what will happen on a Friday. And let me pull up the daily one more time, one minute. Let you show you the plays that we had on it today. We had a golden cross. Once it settled down and consolidated here in this channel, once it, that golden cross, 50 run over that 200, she just gained respect for that 50-day SMA and ran all the way up. And then we had to pull back to the 100 again, bounced above the 50 to that resistance level. Then we had a double thing, a double hit here on the 200 which I'm going to show you here by enlarging this up. And she bounced up, pulled back, bounced up again, come back and respected all the moving averages, and then the 50 gave up on it. 50 curled down over the 200, created a different cross, and she bounced on down and disrespected the 50 all the way down. But there was a dead cat bounce right here at the 4, 375 level to 386, not a very big of a bounce. But right into close, we had this bottom consolidated area. And after hours, we're at 379. So that was a 20, 20, 29 cent bounce just right there for the mad into close. And she ran up and hit that 200 SMA. And it looks like the 50's curling up. I want to see that 50 keep curling up and watch this break out again. But Friday, I think this thing might consolidate and it might just kind of create a, 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 a triangle. Or a rec, you know, not a triangle, but a rectangle, and just move on to the side and consolidate. And then Monday, we should have some more movement on it. But this is Blink. This is a good stock to keep on your watch list, along with your electric cars, because if they're running, this thing might be a sympathy play with with Candy, with uh, Nile, because I think Nile takes part in in Blink, and so that's. That's Blink. That's the chart. Well, like I said, I think it's going to consolidate tomorrow and stay in like a rectangular channel or a triangle, yeah, rectangular. So the next one we're going to talk about is one of my favorite pot stocks, and I've talked about it so many times, and that's Cron. Vegas, would you like to say anything about Cron at all? Or? Uh, no, you know what? Because there's no no news, but I mean, we've been watching the. Um chart so definitely let's talk about that because there's been a nice move there today on yeah. cron cron got beat up a little bit last week when not not this week but the week before when they tried to short it because it was up a hundred percent gain they thought it was overextended so i'm going to pull up the cron chart right now and i'm going to pull up the monthly 
down. I mean, I called this thing at 10 bucks. Let Vegas know we're going to see 20 on it. We hit my $20 resistance level. And then we had a high a couple of days after that to 25 bucks. And then the news came out that they were wanting to short this stock and bring it back to 10. I kind of laughed at it, but it did take note. People did start shortening it a little bit, but it just couldn't get down below that $18 level. And I want to pull up the 20 day so you have a better look at it. This is when they tried to short it right here and did come down and hit, hit that $18. Had a low there of 18.62, and then I called it up, and she bounced on up, respected the resistance level there, right around 21. I know it's kind of musty here, but I've been playing the the heck out of this stock. I had a support channel or a pivot point at 21.31 to 20.55. I played off that support many a times for about a week, and then here in the last last week, it started rising up. We had this upward um trend line that respected it very well tron did and then today we broke out of that resistance level so let me pull up a five day and i've still got my moving averages on here and they're all kind of tight hugging together real well but every day you've been able to get in this and scalp it scalp it for some pretty good money this one here broke out at $21, ran all the way up to $21.79, $21.80. So that was a pretty good look. And then it pulled back, had another little bounce, consolidated after hours, went back up and respected that resistance, had another breakout, pulled back, run into my trend line, then bounced on up, kept going upwards, respected the resistance. And then today we had another breakout of my 22.43 resistance level. And it hit my trend line right here from, from what I had drawn right in this area, right in here. So, I mean, I've got still got the channel working. We did kind of break down below that channel a little bit, but still yet, you respected my, my little white trend line here into close. And I said this thing would probably pull back to that area, and it did. So let's see what happens. I still think it can pull back a little bit because you're kind of at a double top resistance here, and it failed. At twenty-two ninety-six, almost twenty-three dollars, twenty-two eighty-nine in that area. So this camp, and it did pull back to that trend line. So if it respects that trend line, we could bring it on up to about twenty-three twenty-five here, if not tomorrow, next week. But you know, them articles might come back out again, try to short it again, because it is overextended my twenty-dollar resistance level, which was right down here. But look at that. I mean, the trend just kept going up. The trend just kept going up here. So I'm still in love with the Cron. It's the stock I do, do call my trade of the year last year. And I played it pretty well on the pullbacks. And it seems like when it does pull back, it retraces and bounces back up to the resistance. So that's Cron. And then we got another one. And Miss Vegas, you want to mention it? Yeah, so they're going to give you guys a, a couple bonus ones because I really liked some of these setups. And I thought, you know, these ones should be on your watch list uh, for consideration for maybe continuation or maybe a swing trade idea. Because, you know, I know that a lot of people can't always day trade. And so I like to look at some setups here that could be helpful uh, for people to even sometimes trade for the day or, you know, put your order in for the buy and have a sell target. So the first one is um, FLNT, and this is called Fluent. And this company, I love the website, um, but they are a digital consumer expert. So what they do is, you know, whenever we, let's say, you know, we as consumers, we go on Amazon and we shop and we go on eBay and we shop or we go on to a company's website for like a restaurant and like we're ordering food and we're looking at a menu and we're clicking this and clicking that. So this company uh, provides uh, information to those businesses uh, that can kind of help them determine, you know, what is it that consumers look for when they are shopping on your website? What are their personal interests? So it doesn't give them, you know, just gives them like where the consumer is clicking um, so that they can help engage and maybe improve 
information on the website. So this is really interesting. Um, I really like also the fact they did hire a new CFO and uh, the gentleman that they hired was Alex Mandel. And he's now going to be uh, their new CFO. And, you know, the CEO, Ryan, has brought him on board. Um, you know, he was a consultant, uh, just so you know, for the company, Mr. Mandel, uh, since July of last year. And I guess, you know, they probably were very pleased uh, with the work he's been doing for them. He has over 22 years experience um, prior to his consulting experience at, uh, at um, FLNT here at Fluent. Um, however, you know, they were pleased and they guess they brought him in and, uh, he's got a lot of experience on the, you know, leadership and corporate strategies. So I think they want to see what he's going to do. He's also a former investment banker. So I like that because he's obviously going to look for opportunities to help generate revenue for the company. And, uh, he's got a lot of entrepreneurial experience. So I think, uh, this is a great move on the company's part uh when i was looking at the charts today as well one one of the reasons i wanted jim to talk about it as, uh today was because i did like the fact that the stock has a new 52 week high also a new 52 week closing high so to me this is bullish um the stock is not really so crowded so i like that as well because it gives you an opportunity that you know um it's starting to get ready for a potential move um, so, but you know, it's not like you're overpaying, uh, the earnings on this are not even until March. So this is definitely one that I'm going to look at for tomorrow, uh, and possibly even just take on as a swing trade. And I'd love to hear Jim, your thoughts on this amazing chart. I love. Well, she ran from, uh, back on September the 12th, she went 195 and ran all the way up to had a break at a 52 week breakout. I would say probably to d today, we almost had a double top right in here, right around 492. And then she created a 520 high. So this has been a nice four day run from this support level down here. Five day run from, oh, I'd say probably right around this 413, 415 area, which is in five days, it's run up 90 cents. So that's, that's a pretty good run. I'd like to see it pull back to support level here at 480 if it can do it i'm not sure if it can but if it can it'll, it'll be healthy for it and we're going to pull up the 20 day yeah the 480 you see what i'm talking about right here we had a little resistance right here right around 490 so them two could be your three supports 496 490 or 480 if it wants to pull back and it looks to me like it kind of did right into close here at 506, but it did jump up the other day. Yes, this morning. It looks like this morning it had a 525 high there. Like somebody might have put a little bit of money in that thing and just went ahead and brought her up to that 525 area. So I'm going to draw me a trend line there. Maybe this tomorrow it's going to go ahead and just move on up because it did pull back here to this 506. Maybe it just said, okay, it's time for me to bounce on up. But let's call these support areas, these three right here, 506, 496, and 490. I'd like to see at 490 because that, that would be like a, a, a good foundation for it to bounce up because of this right over in here, back on 125, where it had that high and it pulled back. Then it respected the, the, the resistance right here at 480. But I'm looking at 490. 496 or or hold here at the 506 area and bounce up to 525 and then make new highs and that's flint flnt we got another bonus play we're going to talk about and i'll let miss vegas talk about it okay um so the last one but not least is the ticker called h i v e <laughs> so not h i v but h i v e hive and first I thought, I know, and I've heard of this company before, and uh, very interesting company. They're into the um, educational sector. And I really like, I don't know if you guys can see, can you see the website there, Jim? Can you show the website? Yep. So this stock here, 
Um, I really like this one too, because this one too has a beautiful chart and um, a nice, another 52 weeker. And I thought, my goodness, I need to really pay attention to this particular stock. Um, so this has really had to me a really nice channel. It, you know, it was pretty much close to this range in the 460s, 470s, I would say back in August. But since then to now, Arrowhive and Networks has really evolved. And uh, I think that uh, this is ready for a continuation as well. I mean, this is just in a nice, nice channel and moving at a pace that, you know, I think we can handle. It's not going to, you know, explode or anything, but um, it's definitely a beautiful setup, I think, as well. And um, this is definitely overbought. So, Jim, what are your thoughts on Hive? Well, Arrow we've charted Hive this Networks. up before. We definitely charted this up before. Oh, yeah. I can tell because of these yellow lines right here. These were my last year trend lines, and I ain't touched them. I added these two blue ones right here just because, you know, I've seen that little resistance level here. And then this red one I have probably on here because of uh, it's probably my low support back at one time. And I'm going to pull up a year's chart and see what I'm talking about. We did have it have it like a double top right in here at 460. And she did have a resistance level at 466, so I added that little blue line right there. Looks like a pretty good chart. Likes to bounce up, pull back, bounce up, kept pretty solid, and had some good volatility on this stock right now. Then we had a, the sell-off back in December. Everything sold off. It got down to a 319 yearly low, and then it retraced back up. So we're at 319, and we have the now we broke out of the 52-week high which here is here at 479. So if it pulls back any, I'd like to see it pull back to this level right here at 467 and hold because that was a previous top right here, and we did hit that right here on the wick. Yeah, I don't, it could be a little overextended because of the, the great run it's had here in the past two months. So it wouldn't, especially the past week and a half. I mean, look at that from, 389 all the way up to 479 that's a 90 cent bounce i mean that's beautiful real nice play so let's see if it can consolidate pull back to this 466 level for support i hate to see it go any lower than that if it does 458 but we have some other trend lines that we can look up here let me pull this up to a three year look at that oh yeah she's got a lot more room to run now that now that i look at this three year look at that I think 2019 is going to be a good year for stocks, as you can, as indicated right here on this three-year chart, how it bounced up. And you've had runs down here, this double bottom here from 323 once before, and it ran all the way up here to 647 with a resistance level of right around 607. So I'm going to draw that trend line right in there. I see how it pulled back right there and how it broke out right there, so that's nice. So, yeah, I've got our trend lines already ready. I'd like to see if it can run up to the 512 area and break past that. That's my last resistance I have on here. And if it starts to get really wild, we can see it go up to 541. This is hive, so don't get stuck in no beehives and don't get stung. H-I-V-E. <laughs> All right. And well, wanna... you know what? I That was quite the list. And uh, hopefully it'll help you prepare for your watch list tomorrow. And hopefully some of you were able to watch, you know, Jim's video on Monday where he actually talked about the importance of a watch list and how he updates it and how he, you know, keeps it fresh and keeps it simple. And if you didn't have a chance to watch him live on Monday when it was President's Day, uh, just check the video underneath this one and you'll be able to watch it. It's about two hours, but uh, the feedback's been just overwhelming, and people really appreciate uh, the time he took to explain how he sets things up, and it's really all to just really help everyone here in the trading community. So thank you, everyone, for your support, your kindness, your nice, beautiful comments. Like I said, we read all of them. Please come check our website. Come join us in the room. 
We'd love to see you. We love stocks and have an amazing night. Jim, over to you. Yep. Don't forget about our website here. And, and if you can, come join us for your two-week free trial in, in the chat room of I Love Stocks. We have just opened up last week. This is our our uh, this is our first uh, first week, right? Yeah, this is our first. No, week. it's gonna be it's gonna be two weeks. Oh, this two week. weeks. Yeah. This is our second week having it, and it's just been wonderful. We got a great team in here. We're learning how to trade options. We got some options traders in here. We also, I'm a good scalper. I like to scalp. I trade one trade at a time. So you're able to get on voice and listen to Vegas and I call out alerts. And we're calling out options alerts. We have an options room where you can get in there and chat about options. And and so, yeah, this is the second week of I Love Stocks. And come join us in our Discord channel. And if you Yeah, can, I mean, honestly, just come check it out. We don't expect you to join. I mean, I mean, I just want you to enjoy the experience there. And if it helps you for two weeks and then you don't join, it's fine. Uh, we don't, you know, we don't expect you to, let's say, sign up. We just want you to try it, see if you like it. Is it helping you? And if it does benefit you, then obviously at that point, you can decide if you would want to join. But, you know, don't feel at all like there's never any pressure from any one of us to say, come join, join, join. We don't, you know, it's, you have to enjoy the experience and benefit from it. And then the decision will be easy for you to make. And, uh, you know, we just love doing what we do and we love helping everyone. And that's really great to do this with Jim because he just loves helping people too. And that's why we did it. And that's why we're doing it. So we are reaching out to everyone worldwide. We had some really good people from even uh, India, people from the Ukraine, people from Poland, people from obviously the U S and Canada. And I love seeing the Canadians come by. Because I am now able to talk to people about Canadian platforms. And before, all I would hear about is Think and Swim and you Stock Trade. And I'm like, what about the other ones that I use that are in Canada? So I'm so happy now to see a nice a mix of Canadians in the chat. And if you have a Canadian friend, please send them. And also, love seeing my girl traders, my women traders coming by. I'm just seeing more and more women come on in here. And uh, we love your ideas and sharing of information so thank you everyone have an amazing night and see you tomorrow don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for future updates this is i love stocks with vegas and Jim's aftermarket report today's date february the 21st 2019 and i love stocks <laughs>